Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel and for this video I've come to the Tenants Brewery in Glasgow. It's on Duke Street, it's actually overlooked by both the Necropolis and Glasgow Cathedral. So again, if you are up in this neck of the woods, this is just somewhere that you, else you can come and explore. I was supposed to be going on the tour yesterday, but I uh, ended up getting stuck in traffic and was late and Luckily enough, the guys behind the reception desk were really lovely. Didn't catch your names though. So if you do see this, these were lovely. And the fact that you were able to rearrange for me to come today, really appreciate it. So um, I'm sure I'm gonna really enjoy this tour. So I'm gonna be heading around in a moment. Uh, before I do that, if you enjoy my channel, if you enjoy my videos, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channelscoffee.com page and the channel's TikTok account in the description bar below and in a pinned comment in the comment section. So with that out the road, I'm going to head on out and head round to the, the brewery itself. And if you are wanting to make a day of it, they also have a uh, uh, cafe here as well called the Dry Gate, which is within the brewery itself. I'm going to go the long way around because uh, there are some uh, murals on the wall just on the main road down there that I can show you. So this entire wall, all the way up to the entrance of the visitor centre, have got uh, murals on them. So uh, it's all celebrating aspects of Glasgow life. So we've got the Duke of Wellington statue with his cone hat. And it falls just all the way up. And so there's one that I really want to point out to you, especially for all you Outlander fans. And I think I'm just gonna come up to it just now. Uh, that one there is probably the most famous of the murals. Uh, it's supposed to be Sam Hogan. I think that's how you pronounce his surname. A uh, guy that plays Jamie Fraser in Outlander. I think before he became Jamie Fraser, or he got that part, he'd uh, filmed a ad campaign with tenants and this is one of the, the images from it. That they're now using as one of the murals. Yeah, one of the things that a lot of people always remember about the, the old tenant cans was the Lager Lovelies. I, I can even I can even vaguely remember uh, the Lager Lovelies. Essentially it's uh, pretty girls put on the back of the can with their names at the bottom. It's a bit of a Glaswegian thing to do. So as I play a better view of the murals and you can see Glasgow Cathedral with the infirmary behind it. And the uh, Acropolis probably right behind the building there. And so I said the building I'm going in there for the tour. Uh, the, the entrance that you go into is just the one at the corner where the, where the glass is. So I'm just going to head across the road. So that's how long Tenants has been brewing for. Since 1556, and they are a Scottish staple. And they do have a gift shop area. They can buy Tenants branded products, and you can also treat yourself to some of their export stuff. So I think this is the only place in Britain we can get that exported products. You can buy like t-shirts and hoodies and that sort of thing. And it'll be over there at the tour be starting. Yeah, I was talking about the, the Lager Lovelies earlier on. This is actually an example of some of the Lager Lovelies that they actually have on display. And they stopped doing them uh, in 1993. So that's how recently they were doing them too. So that'd be what? 30 years ago, nearly, 29, 30 years ago. Yeah, I 
as we are going outside into the actual brewery itself. We will have we have to wear our fizz vests and we've got ear protection as well. So I've put some of that on because it's going to be very noisy and it is a working brewery. Yeah, we're just heading up to the bar just now. Do you get to sample some of their wear? Well, that's me back from my tour of the Tenants Brewery and you really only get a true sense of the scale of the brewery itself when you're getting shown round on the tour and yeah, it's, 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 it's a great wee tour and you really could have got to see uh, the different aspects of what was going on within the brewery itself and as you will have seen towards the end of the tour, the tour as well they do take you into the bar and you can have a pint of tenants and they will also give you some samples of some of the other uh, beers that they do and because I was driving and I'd let them know I was driving uh, they actually sent me away with a bottle of their whiskey lager and it's, it's, it's a kind of beer that they have that they've actually aged with uh, a whiskey oak so as one of my favourite ciders right now at the moment is the Thistle Cross uh, Whiskey Oak Cider this will probably be quite an interesting thing to, to sample when I get home and for, for I think it's actually kind of quite strong as well as uh, six percent alcohol, and I think the uh, tenants usually is about three. So, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy that when I get home, and and it, it was really kind of them to actually allow me to take this home with me so I could sample it. So, yeah, I'm I think I'm gonna enjoy that when I get home. But it was also nice uh, when you were uh, getting samples of their laggers and their, their beers, they were actually telling you a little bit about 
how they produce them and uh, the taste notes and that sort of thing. So that the guys who do run the place and run the tours and deal with people who are kind of coming to visit really do know their stuff and really know what they're talking about. And so if you do like your, your lager and your beer and you enjoy tenants or you want to sample something of uh, the Scottish drink culture and maybe try something a bit, a bit different from the whiskey, definitely get yourself along to the Tenants Brewery on Duke Street. Definitely worth a visit, definitely worth a time. And yeah, it was a, a great wee day out and a great wee visit. So hopefully you will all, all have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you'll be intrigued by the tour of the Tenants Brewery. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.